Well, what was supposed to be a little quick job today turned out to be something where I got to make a tool for it. Uh, had a guy drop me off this shaft from a snowmobile, and the clutch is pretty well stuck on there. It's kind of design where you can't press it off because you don't have an edge to uh, push against. So we're going to make up a copy of the original factory tool to remove it. It's essentially three bolts that hook into here and we'll make up a plate for outside to pull against. I've already got it partly done. I wasn't going to bother filming it, but uh, since it turned into a more involved job, I figured, hey, what the hell. I already had this partly parted off before I decided to film it, so in essence what we're going to make is a, uh, a puller for this clutch. We need to do a hole pattern on 120, roughly an inch radius. Uh, we'll put a center bolt in that's threaded for to, to pull the clutch off with. So we'll part this off, we'll get it set up over in the mill. Set up in the mill. We got our uh, center finder to get the center of our uh, center of our piece. We dial in our radius now, which is about an inch. And we start drilling holes.
And there's our hole pattern. We make it a center bolt now with a 60 degree point on it. Uh, push against the shaft and we should be ready to go. Okay, so we tried our puller. It worked quite well. So we made up the three bolts that fit into our slots on our outer half of our clutch. We took a 3 8 bolt and put a uh, 60 degree center on it so it would fit the end of this shaft. And it uh, turns out this thing is just on a taper anyway. We were under the impression it was rusted in place, but uh, once it broke loose it was quite easy to take off. So the customer gets a, a tool for future maintenance. I'm sure there will be lots. It is a snowmobile after all. And uh, hopefully he's happy with the job. Thanks for watching again.